Hey there, everyone. Welcome to a new Stasma Tips and Tricks. This week, I'm going to show you how to slice synthesizer sounds or bank of synthesizer sounds using Sampler to create uh, dynamically modulatable synth lines. And we are going to stay on the acid topic as I'm going to show you how it works using some of the acid sounds from the Grandmother Acid video from last week. There is a few of those samples called Individual It's to Slice. So if we analyze what this is, it is the same note from the Grandmother played with a different filter envelope on each it. You can't just load this into Simpler and have fun, because I'm going to show you why. Okay, here we have Simpler. Let's put this here. You okay, can play it chromatically like this, but if you want to have different envelopes, you need to automate the start point. Or if you go to Slice, you can play the different slice, but not chromatically or maybe I'm not aware of, but anyway. I'm going to show you how to do it and how to actually really tweak it from Sampler. So let's load Sampler. We have it here. We are going to... Let's grab the saw acid. So here we have all the different its. I'm going to go to the zone. Here we select our first one, we can duplicate it and slice it like this. Maybe there is an automatic way to do it, actually, I don't know. I've always done it manually, maybe I'm losing time, but if there is one, let me know in the comment. So now, once this is done, in order to be able to play all this from the velocity, you go to velocity, select everything, right click, and spread equally here. So now all those sounds have been mapped to a different velocity area automatically. Let's write a short pattern. Now, if we start to play around with the velocity here, we can basically automate the way the filter envelope behave by just choosing the right sample at the right time, which makes it very more dynamic. This without using the uh, digital filter from Sampler. In there. So you can also add this filter to the game if you want. We're going to disable it for now. Uh, leave the velocity to volume at zero, otherwise it will also act on the volume. It can be interesting, let's try 25%, but if you do it too much, the low velocity will not play at all. Uh, this does give it a nice accent. One of the nice features of uh, Live 11 is that you can randomize the velocity directly in the piano roll. So it can give this single pattern a bit more life. You can uh, randomize this by holding control or command and drag up or down. Okay, now. Let's say we also want this one, which is an octave up. Well, not an octave, maybe a, a, a PWM acid, another sound. So let's do the same thing. Let's leave it into the same simpler. Sampler, sorry. Sample. Okay, so now that we have everything here, we are in velocity. So the same we can spread equally across the velocity. Now we are going to use select here. This could allow to, for example, split this in two. Uh, if you want to affect this to something, you can affect it to MIDI right away, but if you want, just... You can do it here. Use it like a knob here. 
this will let us play the so from here or the PWM thing from here. And there are also one octave. There's a one octave difference between the two, but uh, it's okay. It's something that we can actually use. If you make a group, you could add this select thing to a macro. So from now you could automate it here. Which is fine. You can just choose on each part which sound is playing. But you can also make them fade into each other. So you could have, for example, from 1 to 64 only the so, but from 64 to 127, you could have a crossfade between the two, which is not the same at all. Okay, now let's have a little jam with some stuff, a mono sequencer, and some breakbeats. <laughs> Of course, you can add more samples, make lots of layers, have some appearing or disappearing at weird times. Now, yeah, it's up to you. I just show you the basis. See you next time. <laughs>